All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video for Mr. Robot giving my thoughts now that it has been confirmed that season four will be its final season. Oh man, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and do at least one video giving my thoughts on Mr. Robot, which is going to be ending uh, next year, 2019, whenever it airs. So I don't think there's an exact uh, release date right now that's been confirmed yet by USA Network. But the season four of Mr. Robot will be the final season of the series. So sorry if, uh, if you guys haven't heard this news yet and you're a fan of Mr. Robot. Yes, it's going to be coming to an end. It's going to be wrapping up with season four. Um, so for this one, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit sad that it's going to be ending, but at the same time, it's kind of like, well, you know, we got four good seasons of Mr. Robot. That's probably, uh, the most that, uh, that you're, you're pretty much going to be able to get out of this type of, uh, of premise. One thing I was really surprised by in the second season there is that, you know, Mr. Robot is a series that, um, it has some really great twists and turns as you go through things. You know, at the end of uh, season one, you kind of have a, a fight club type of uh, twist there near near the end. And then as you go into the second season, it's kind of like it, you know, you've got lots of different twists until you do it again, right? And it's uh, that's really a difficult thing to do is to keep kind of having a story that's at that kind of level where it's going to keep twisting and turning and things are going to keep going in ways you don't kind of uh, expect to see them go. Um but there's always a question of how many seasons they would be able to get out of Mr. Robot. When we first saw the first year, the first season, I kind of thought it might be like a one, it felt like a one shot type of uh, series. And then I was happy to hear that they were even going to do a season two because I didn't really think like, based on what it is, it's such high quality and it's, uh, it's so intriguing that you'd almost think it would have a limited, very limited run, which would be like, you know, a certain amount of episodes or maybe two seasons max. But luckily they were able to go all the way up to a fourth season, which will air next year and uh, then after that it's going to be wrapping up man there's lots of series ending next year so there'll be mr robot ending with season four and then of course uh, game of thrones which will be a big one too uh, ending with its eighth season after eight years and um Gotham ending after season five, after five years of uh, of Gotham. So lot. So 2019, kind of a sad year for me <laughs> because a lot of these series are some of my favorite series that I look forward to watching every year. Uh, Mr. Robot definitely being one of them. I thought that Mr. Robot, the first two seasons aired during the summertime, which I thought was just perfect. At least for me, anyway, it was it was basically perfect because uh, season three of Mr. Robot they had it air during October, so like October to December, starting October 11th, December 13th was the um, the final episode for, for season three when it aired that for USA Network that is a very very competitive time of the year to be airing a series like Mr. Robot uh, not because Mr. Robot isn't really high quality I think it is but there's just so many different series on during that time of the year during the fall um I thought they were pretty smart originally to air Mr. Robot in June and July and have it run during the summer when there wasn't that much other stuff on to give people something, especially computer geeks or people that are interested in this kind of a cyberpunk um, you know, type of uh, series. I just thought that was a really cool time to have it air when nothing else was really on that that you know there was really good to 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 watch that was really that new during the summertime. So it's unfortunate that season three they shifted it, and now for season four, I don't know when it's going to air next year at some point. Uh, really not sure, but uh, you know I am satisfied with the run that they were able to do with Mr. Robot. You know, getting four years out of that type of series, I think is uh, is really good because. I mean, personally, I was sitting there thinking, like, you know, maybe one year, maybe two, okay, three, really? And then four? It's like, okay, great. Okay, yeah, okay, now it's now it's wrapping up. So that's kind of how I've been feeling about it. But, um, you know, I did a lot of reviews for Mr. Robot when it first started. I felt like it was pretty hot when it first started out in the series. And then by the time you got into season three, like I said, I think it was hurt by the switching of the time each year. You know, people get used to kind of routine. So if you have a kind of series you can look forward to at a certain time of the year, whenever they change it, uh, you know, it's kind of risky to kind of shift around a, a, a release time like that or a time of the year when people are expecting it and then it's it's not there and then they have to kind of uh, shift. So that said, though, uh, it was a really fun series. I am still looking forward to seeing the, the fourth season through and how the whole story kind of wraps up and how things uh, wrap up in the end. Uh, and I do think it's kind of, it's, it's a, extremely well done series i mean it's pretty masterful if you look at it also it's unique there's nothing like this that i think we've ever seen before uh 
uh, in this current generation as as we've just become so engrossed with technology and technology just being everywhere you know smartphones and computers and uh, you know the ability of someone who kind of is uh, um, you know a hacker or somebody who's kind of able to do that kind of stuff and really into that kind of stuff it's very it's very interesting to see in such a technological society and technological world that basically the world has become here um to see someone like uh rami malik's character uh, elliot in that type of uh, of world and then of course there's some common uh, commentaries on society and kind of the evil corporation <laughs> this kind of this kind of concept inequality and this kind of some commentary on that and uh, lots of twists and turns and, and pretty compelling characters as you go through it so i am uh sad to hear that mr robot's going to be ending next year in 2019 but i feel like you know it got a pretty good run it had a pretty good run through so uh you know it, it's not a bad one and i think it'd be a cool one to kind of collect when it's all said and done they release maybe a you know a collector set blu-ray or something for the whole series because it is it is a really cool type of show you could just watch through and um you know, super high quality for sure. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, sorry for the bad news if you didn't know that Mr. Robot's going to be ending and you're a fan of the series. Uh, or if you're not, you know, I can definitely recommend it as something you can check out. At least check out the first season and see if you're not hooked to see the uh, second and the third through. Um, you know, the first season was really good, man, of Mr. Robot. I got to say, really, really amazing. One of the best, like, first seasons of a series, you know, I've ever seen. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share. You can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. You can do it. You can subscribe at the bottom left. Uh, depending on the release date for the, the last season, Mr. Robot, maybe we'll do some reviews as things wrap up and the series uh, ends. Uh, but, you know, lots of series ending next year, so we'll have to see. It's kind of sad, man. 2019 kind of sucks for, <laughs> for TV, uh, at least for me anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. I'll see you soon.